Water is our common elixir of life and one of the major challenges of the 21st century. On our Earth, more than 70% uh, of the surface is covered by water and 97.5% of the water on our globe is salty seawater. And only 0.8% we can use without any treatment. And PWD has all the technologies, so out of any resource we are producing healthy, safety and pure, clean drinking water. PWD takes care of our common elixir of life and PWD is following the three letters of PWD which means best water technology and you see that uh, the B stands for the target. The W is the task and uh, the T is the solution. The target is to develop and to produce as well as to sell and serve products for the whole water cycle from the sewers to the seepage water. And uh, the task is to develop water technology products for all matters, for filtration as well as for ion exchange and disinfection. These are the three main basic technologies. And we take care also of the globe. The trend tells us that within the next 30 years we should have an increase of transporting goods around the globe from north to south and opposite and west and east and also back. The, we have an increase by 350%, which means 4.5 times uh, what um, goods we are transporting today. We have really to think about to do a positive contribution and PWD, I by myself with my employees, decided to stop the transport of bottled water from Fiji to New York as well as from Paris to Tokyo. We like to contribute um, and to make the world a little bit better sip by sip by using local water resources mineralized and avoiding the transport of plastic bottles. We can do a very positive contribution with this mineralization technology. That out of any resource of water on our globe, we are able to make healthy, safety, hot, cold, sparkling, mineralized water, mineralized with magnesium, which is important for the muscles, for the heart, for the brain. Therefore, we uh, started the campaign which is called Bottle Free Zones, uh, plastic bottle free zones for single use. This we must uh, reduce and avoid, and with uh, our concept, it is easily possible. I started in 2008 with a concept which is called Cook the Mountain which is totally sustainable, which is uh, working with local people. Really 360 degrees uh, sustainable concept and that's why we started a fantastic collaboration with BWT and we are using just the water from the mountain. Bottle free water zone is, is one of the most intelligent concept what you can do, not just in a restaurant, but also, also in a school, you can use it in, in public places. You don't have to, to bring water from maybe 1,000 or 10,000 kilometers away. We did a calculation, we were supposed to bring up around 35,000 bottles of water for one winter season, and we said, no, no, we are not gonna do this. And so we avoided really the transportation to bring up the bottles, to store the bottles, and so, and uh, makes sense that you use the local water, and especially it's mineralized with uh, magnesium, with uh, silica and with zinc. And so it's really also rich water, and people got always really fresh water because it's always local source. The second pillar, is uh, the fuel cell technology. For me, the fuel cell is not only the energy converter of the 21st century, it is also the highest efficient solution to produce in a sustainable way energy and heat. 
we have something against the system which uh, is more and more common practice today with the battery driven uh, mobility. We like to convince all the politicians and the influencers in the industry and in the world to think about e-mobility driven by hydrogen. As an example, a car with 70 kilowatt is producing maybe 20 liters of steam and you hear nothing, uh, for sure it's an electromotor, but the really waste is pure H2O, which is fantastic. For an economical, motivated, sustainable uh, 21st century on our globe, it's really important that we give this technology a realistic chance and we invest everything and stop um, the classic use of batteries like we do it today. This is one thing which drives me and uh, we invested at least 200 million of euros within the past 27 years. So BWT is constantly investing and developing for a decentralized supply of healthy and safe drinking water. Fumatech, as a subsidiary of BWT, we are developing and producing components and membranes for a decentralized energy supply. Year by year, the Earth Overshot Day is dated earlier. We lost 28 trillion tons of ice on the Earth in the past 23 years. Therefore, we have to fight against global warming. We have to decarbonize all sectors of our industry. We have to decarbonize energy supply. We have to decarbonize industry and transportation. So hydrogen plays an important role in our future energy economy. And fuel cells are the power plants of the hydrogen economy. They generate electricity from hydrogen and air. So fuel cells are the key to move into an hydrogen economy. Uh, the third pillar, which is completely new, we did always in our history contribute and uh, share something with the poorest of the world. The, for you and Planet Blue Foundation has a target to make things happen. That means that uh, we do not uh, start with theory and end with theory, we like to execute. And therefore, we decided and found with Gambia a little country uh, where we understand that with 10,000 wells, the whole country uh, is, uh, has an infrastructure that no one has to walk more than 150 meters. And uh, this is a realistic idea, it's a realistic project, and therefore, we are working very hard via the Be Water Mission concept. The South African region of uh, Gambia, Tanzania and countries around, water is not available on short term for the people. So especially women and children are responsible for collecting water and they have to do a walk of a few hours to collect water from poor sources or even rivers. And BWG believes uh, that the access to uh, clean drinking water should be available for everybody. And therefore we plan to invest uh, 70 million dollars in the next seven to ten years uh, in this region, in the Gambia, in Tanzania, in close South African countries. And uh, we plan to install the infrastructure for 10,000 uh, water taps in that region. The people wouldn't have to walk long distances for collecting their safe 
water. The goal is to have less than 150 meters for everybody to the nearest tap. Our initiative always takes care that we develop the situation, the project as well via the staff and the uh, population that they can develop and make their own society better. So additionally to that we hope that we can build bridges all over the world and we take care all together that everybody sooner than later will have a safe healthy drinking water on our globe.